What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams. In today's video, we're gonna keep learning how to use the Yoast SEO WordPress plugin, the most used SEO or search engine optimization tool for optimize your content for search engines, like Google, for example, and make your site hunks better. And in this video, we're gonna learn how to use the search appearance. We're gonna explore the search appearance. In the latest video, we did learn how to use the Yoast and the configuration wizard, but in the search appearance, you can find more options, like this one, for example, that for every single post type, like pages, posts, or pro custom post types, like the project or portfolio that you have on our visual model WordPress teams, you can set the pages on search results, the date of the publication, the meta description, and the SEO title extractor, where you can apply some default settings. Here in the media, you can set on or off, yes or no. We do recommend that you set yes to enclose the attachment page to the attachment itself in the search engine like when you upload an image you're gonna be good ranked on the image search engine now for the taxonomies like categories post categories tags custom post types tags or formats for example you can set every single part of the structure as well and you can enable or disable some parts in the case that you don't want to show this in the search results some blogs do not show the categories, but I do recommend that you enable like the outer archive, archive settings. The outer is the people or person that write the post content. And the outer eventually has a page that index all the posts that the outer, the outer did write, for example. Now, the brown cramps. This is the this is a little tricky option. I do recommend that you take a moment to read the Yoast SEO, SEO blog post about it. But in the case that you want to use among with four teams, there's not a problem. You're gonna be using properly, but you need to remove the theme default brown cramps on WP dashboard visual model theme options footer. And in the very first option, we're gonna set as no and save changes. Now you're gonna go back to the brown cramps, enable and set it following the guide that you're gonna find a link in the end of the setting next to the save changes. But it's really simple to set. You just need to go in your post. Here is the article. I really do recommend that you take a moment to read it so you can understand its usage in the case that you want. But this does these little navigation options like you are here for example you go to home blog and some category on the blog and in the post that you are reading you used to see this in shop pages for example like amazon and it's good use it and has seo proposals as well Finally, we have the RSS feed, where you can make the input codes for the RSS feed. There is the available variables. So people can subscribe to your blog by the RSS feed. This was a really common option in the internet, but now it's not used not very much and it is i hope you guys enjoyed this video feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question and don't forget to check out the visualmoto.com portfolio of amazing wordpress teams and i see you later all the best